what up everyone um just a quick disclaimer before like i do this tutorial is i am not that like this is not a great track for me so like if you're super good and you're like looking for like an extra like 10th this is not the video for you but like if you have no idea what you're doing on this track and like you hate this track you just can't run it without being like kind of fast definitely watch this video see what line i'm running and the more and more you run it kind of like this you'll probably be able to get faster than what i run here but this will definitely give you a good basis on like what you should be doing and um i did not change any of like the brake bias or the steering ratio this is fully in the irising stock setup also also i'm running a really hot track right now so my times might be really slow like compared to the race session but that might not mean that this is actually like that speed because uh the rookie street socks tend to run a cooler track than this so you'll probably be like up to maybe a second faster than i'm running here because i'm running a hot track so but this this line will still be the correct line correct way to run it anyways i'm gonna start putting down some laps and I'm going to get the tutorial here. So right now I'm about to show my fastest lap I could run in about 10 laps. This is the fastest lap I ran. Um, I'm just going to play it full speed um, with telemetry right here. So if that's what you're here for, check it out. This is what I did to get run the fast lap. Alright, so let's break this down. First of all, I lost a lot of time here. This was my outlap. Um, let's get a better cam here. This is my outlap, and as you can see, I slid it really hard. So I lost so much speed coming in there. Do not do that on your qualifying, okay? That is one way just to get yourself into a real real disadvantage where um it's just kind of hard to come out of um i know a lot of people like if let's say this is their outlap a lot of people run the high side and then slow down then then shoot down the track and it'll get them that extra run that's not what i did because i had a second lap fast outlap or second a second lap hot lap i don't i think that's how you say it anyway so right here i definitely could have done better of staying up at the wall so you kind of want to be at the wall here it's not too important though so my brake marker first of all a common mistake by a lot of rookie drivers i see is they don't want to use the brake and i kind of like fell into this trap early on too where like I thought that it would be faster not to use the brake, but in reality, it's the opposite. Like, if you think you should use the brake at a short track, like that you could, you you should be using the brake. So, I feel like a lot of rookie drivers will just try and not use the brake here, but it's crucial to use the brake because you'll just get such a better entry, the car will sit better, you won't be as tight. So, my brake marker is right kind of when I hit this. So, in car, it looks like right about here I start braking. I take this really shallow entry, and I kind of follow this this line here. Um, you'll see. Like, I, I kind of treat this as the first apex. But then I just shoot down. I really like to have my left sides on the paint. I just find the car turns a lot better you can honestly get half the car like i did here that's ideal you want to try not to be all the way up here i don't i don't know i just find the car turns a lot better um it takes a lot of throttle control at this track i think that's where a lot of rookies don't like this track is 
because of how loose the car tends to get. You just have to be so smooth on the throttle. You'll see my throttle inputs here. I'll do it in the cockpit cam. Um, we'll go in slow motion. You'll see, like, I'm just slowly getting back on the throttle. And I, I still got a little bit loose, but I did a really good job of keeping traction there. Um, let me find my bar chase again. I think the biggest thing in the race is going to be for this week is going to be making sure you're not sliding out of corners. If you have to sacrifice a little bit of throttle on exit, do it because you will save your tires and you will be in a lot better shape. Just whatever you do, do not heat those tires up because they're going to get hot regardless, but if you can mitigate that like just try anyways here so i'm kind of getting back on throttle right about here so which is mm, that's about right you could say it's a little early or a little late but it's okay you just want to have a straight line to the wall which i think i did a pretty good job of i can even use a little bit more of the track but the point is you want to be you want to Make sure you're like on exit, you're all the way out to the wall because otherwise, if you're exiting here, you're pinching off your momentum so hard. You want to be straight, as straight as you can. Right here, um, what's a good break marker that you could use? I kind of just do this all by look. So. Um, there's no real specific, maybe when your <laughs> thing, like when your center bar here gets the end of the K and N sign, but I wouldn't be too precise. I think you could get yourself into a lot of situations if you're always looking for that. I think just kind of feel it out and memorize this kind of spot. You, you just want to be dragging the brakes, just like last corner, I, I forgot to mention, you just want to be... Just dragging the brakes about not about 25% at the peak of your brake usage. And you want to be dragging that for a pretty long time, to be honest. It's about the middle of the corner. And then I just kind of coast a little bit. Like right here, I'm kind of just coasting. And then you're just slowly getting back on the throttle. You see, I stayed at half throttle for a really long time. I was still half throttle here on exit just because you you just do not want to over rotate because especially I'm the track might be hot um, and the last thing you want to do is cook your tires um, so yeah um, back in this corner too like you just want to drag your brake I I did Pretty low brake increments, but you can see I just kind of pump my brakes about 25%. And yeah, that's kind of my tutorial. That's the the basic line and stuff. That's what you want to. That's where you want to be running. Um, I could see like this is this is my best time, but I'm sure y'all be able to destroy that time. But I hope that if you're new and you're just struggling at this track this will help you out um thanks for watching i should i want to do more of these because my last one it seemed like it helped a bit of people so yeah thanks for watching everyone and peace out